Hello everyone and Hello. welcome to our November update that we are sending out a day <laughs> late because we wanted to have some Christmas decorations in the, uh, the thing so we have our Christmas jumpers on. Um, jumpers is an English word, sorry for the Canadians. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're excited to, to bring you our November update. Um, again, of course, November's been a crazy month. Um, and it started off in very crazy fashion. Um, three days after we sent out our last update saying that we had club status, we then received an email from the university politely telling us that they had rejected our application for club status, um, which was rather surprising um, and kind of difficult to, to take as well, especially after we put in so much hard work. Mm -hmm. Um, and also because we're still not quite sure exactly why they said no. Um, so yeah, that was difficult. Um, but I think the, the great thing that that has helped us to do is to just rally and just keep on doing what we're doing. We, um, we're a church whether we have club status or not and if it takes a bit longer for us to have um, such a um, distinct presence on campus then then that's okay there are still other ways for us to be present on campus um, we'll keep building relationship with the university keep plugging away and uh, so yeah it was hard but um, we're still going we're still going <laughs> we're still going um, and we have lots of other things to be yeah. really excited about as yeah, well. Absolutely. And one of those things that happened during in November um, was we had our uh, Vision Forward Galas, which are our big fundraising event, an event where we invite like people in the church and outside the church uh, to come together and get a picture of what we've been doing, celebrating what we've done, and looking forward to... Um, what our vision is for the future of Lyft. Um, so that was really cool. And this guy, um, we this year we had um, normally the galas, this was the fifth year for gala, yep. and normally they've always been in Hamilton. Um, this year we had one in Guelph and one um, down in St. Catharines. Um, that's where Brock University is. And Matthew hosted the one in Guelph. So that was really special and really cool. and. Um, all of our our people that are part of our our church um, came out to, to help support that and um, yeah get to meet people from other campuses and uh, people that are supporting the church um, so it was a really cool experience for them as well um, to see to see sort of the bigger picture um, and Matthew did an awesome job I'm seeing so that was really cool too yeah it was awesome wasn't it? It, was, it was really good fun yeah. and also just to like see the different people that support what Lyft does um hear the amazing stories because so often you're just in it but when you see the bigger picture of what God mm -hmm. is doing and our excitement for, for how he's moving across our campuses and um across Ontario as well it's yeah. it's exciting yeah um, yeah last year we went to um the gala in Hamilton and it was like we were new new to lift and we knew that we were going to be the fourth site is yeah. that right yeah. yeah um but at that point there were only two sites and like mohawk was just in the process of starting things and now um this year we're celebrating that we have presence on five campuses yeah so it's really really cool to see how that's been moving yeah um so it was exciting <laughs> it was really awesome um, and more things to celebrate. Yeah. SMEs. You want to talk about yeah. SMEs a bit? So SMEs are, they stand for Strategic Missional Engagement, um, which is part of one of the core things that we do at Lyft, besides gathering together um, in our simple church huddles, um, gathering together on Sundays, and then also being involved in the bigger community and serving, uh, serving the communities that we're in. And... So even though we didn't, we don't have club status, we're still finding ways to, to serve on campus and outside of campus. 
So what is your simple church? What have you been doing? So my, uh, my apprentice, Ethan, has got us connected to the Guelph Food Bank, um, which has been really cool. So we've been going there Monday mornings, helping them out for a couple of hours. They have a bunch of food and we help to sort them um, so that they can send them out and give them to people um, who, who are in need, which has been really cool. Um, what are you guys doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we've just started. We figured out uh, one way we wanted to serve students during exam season and find ways to encourage and, and support them in whatever ways we can. Um, so last week during our huddle, um, we were, I think there were 11 of us, and we all wrote a whole bunch of little like cards or little notes um, just saying, like, good luck on exams, you can do it. Um, like, you, we're here for you kind of thing. Um, I have a bag full of these notes and so this coming week on Tuesday during our normal um, huddle time we're going to go around to, we've got access to five dorms through all the girls in our simple church. Um, so we're going to go around handing um, notes out to people, knocking on doors, seeing how people are doing and giving out candy or little treats as well. Um, and it was really cool to see how excited um, uh, the girls were about doing that, and yeah, the cards yeah. They, they made were really amazing too. Yeah, it's exciting, and I think that just the heart of SMEs shows that you don't have to have club status to be able to be fully present on campus and we'll find other ways, which is what we're doing. So, <laughs> that's our November update. Um, thank you so much again, as always, for all your support. Um, we hope you have an awesome December and a wonderful Christmas time from all us both. Um, so yeah, we'll be back after Christmas at the end of December, but uh, love you guys loads. Me. Happy December. Bye. Bye.